Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I've been lucky enough to find quite a few different Matchbox vehicles over the last two or three weeks, uh, including these two nine packs you see before us. And uh, I really haven't had a chance to make any new videos. So uh, here we go. So I'm gonna do a review of the first box right there. And the second box, we're gonna unbox it as well as a review and then a quick comparison to some of the older vehicles from Matchbox lineup. So let's start off it with this particular vehicle. Um, let me go through each of these vehicles. I apologize for the reflections, guys, but uh, uh, lighting is a bit of an issue for me today. Uh, anyways, uh, the first vehicle here is the Aston Martin, which we've seen in several different colors. Uh, this version is in a sort of a Spectra flame blue. It reminds me of the same color as the two super, treasure hunts that the Hot Wheel line has, the um, Ford GT as well as the Porsche Outlaw is sort of a similar color to that particular vehicle. And it seems like it's fully detailed at the front. I see the gray lights there, you can sort of make it out. Anyway, it's a nice car. Um, next we have the Honda CBC. Uh, this is the third version of it the first uh, color variant was white and then it came in yellow and now we see it in red it's also part of the main line so we have seen this vehicle before next is a new casting which is also part of the main line it is the uh, lexus i forget the model name um, it's a really really nice vehicle uh, it's the third uh, <laughs> it's exactly the same version i've got three of them now um, I'm not complaining about that particular model. I, I think it's really nice and it's uh, I'm happy to have three versions of it. Next we have a generic matchbox vehicle. I'm not it's not licensed, I'm not sure what it's called. It might be called Ridge Raider, I'm not hundred percent sure, but there you go. We've seen it a few times. Next we have a Subaru Impressa in a police livery, which we have seen before as well. It's a 2007. Uh, model and I have one which I picked out of a five pack or a nine pack earlier this year I did a quick uh, comparison for colors or any kind of variant and they look exactly the same they do look different in the, this light but under natural light they are exactly the same I'm not going to spend too much time on it next we have a Nissan that we've also seen several times great car um, once again, I have a few uh, versions of this exact same vehicle and I'm happy to have them in my collection, so I'm not complaining too much. And then we come across three vehicles that I'm not super thrilled about. I'm not sure what that's called. Um, it might just be Alpine Rescue. Um, plastic base. Not sure if it's got moving, if the wheels move or if it's just static. Then we have the helicopter and some sort of a truck, some sort of a garbage truck. It's not a bad truck. I'm not sure if it's licensed. I doubt it is. Anyways, that's it. There's the box. I'm just going to show you real quick the side of it. See the licenses, Aston Martin, Infinity, Honda, and then Matchbox. And there's the back. There's the... Oh, and the Toyota license as well. So that's it. So give me a second while I open that particular box and set up the video so that we can um, do the unboxing. Actually, before I unbox it, I'm just gonna show you the box itself real quick. So there are the vehicles. See the Land Rover is the exclusive vehicle. Licenses, Chevrolet, Ford, uh, what is that? A Dodge, Land Rover, and Honda. There's the back, and the last side has the GM, Alfa Romeo, and Matchbox license. All right, so give me a second, I'm just gonna open this up, and we're gonna have a look at these vehicles. So I've opened it up, guys, and we're gonna just quickly go through these vehicles. Um, the ones we've seen before, I'm not gonna spend too much time on, um, so bear with me, I'll be as quick as possible. There's the empty box, I'm just gonna move it aside and get to these vehicles. Okay. I'm going to start off with the ones we've already seen. Let's, uh, let's have a look to see this vehicle first. It's 
So 2016 Ram flatbed. We've seen this in a quite a few different colors. I quite like it. It doesn't have a lot of weight to it. The majority of this car is plastic and it doesn't appear to have an interior. Really hard to tell, but I doubt it. When Usually when the windows are blacked out, there's no interior. And that would make sense because it's just such a light vehicle. There's the back. It's a decent looking vehicle. It is um, licensed. Unfortunately, Matchbox hasn't finished it off by uh, filling in the lights. But overall, not bad. Next, we've got a helicopter that we've seen several times as well. Once again, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I'm just going to let it go around once. Let's just have a look at it. So it's a fire and EMS rescue helicopter. Once again, it doesn't appear to have an interior. It's got a rotating blade. Doesn't rotate too well. Not bad, I mean, I can't complain, but just not something that I would necessarily collect. Rescue helicopter. Okay, third vehicle we're looking at, we've seen before as well. It's a 1934 Chevy Master Coupe. Really, really well designed car. I'm happy that um, Matchbox does these, all the vehicles. Look how sharp that looks. Look at that. Look at the detailing on it. Really, really fancy. But one I've got in my collection several times now. Um, so once again, don't want to spend too much time on it. Let it rotate one so you guys get a full view of it. Moving right along. Next we have a Pontiac Firebird, which we've seen before in um, several five packs. Um, I have this exact same version that I think was in a five pack that I picked up last month. It's a nice vehicle, no complaints. It's fully detailed, which is excellent. Number plate isn't filled in, but I'm not sure if it says anything in there. Oh, it does, look at that. Not sure what it says, but it does say something. Look at that, the Pontiac sign. Very, very nice. Sadly, this is like the second or third exact version of this vehicle that I have, but once again, it's a licensed vehicle. I'm not complaining too much. And then we also had it as the exclusive in that particular nine pack, which I'm pretty sure is also from 2022. Next we have the 2016 Alfa Romeo, which is, I think this is the fourth color variant we've seen in this particular vehicle. It originally came out in red, and then there was a white version, followed by a metallic gray version in the premium collectors line that Matchbox has. And this is, uh, this is also part of the main line, so it's not an exclusive to this nine pack. But it's still a very, very sharp car. Look at that, it just looks incredible. And although I do have it, I'm not not sad to pick up another one. It really, really is a fantastic looking car. It's a 2016 Alfa Romeo Giulio. Beautiful. Not sure who the designer was on this particular vehicle for Matchbox, but they did a fantastic job. Look at that, look at the detailing on the grill. Very, very nice, okay. Moving like right around, this is a Ford Interceptor police car. And we've seen it before, but I did notice a, some significant variances in this one to previous versions we have a Matchbox has released. So this particular vehicle was also in that nine pack as well as the nine pack below it. But there are some significant variances. I'm just going to try and point them out to you. So the blue 
on the two vehicles is very, very different. The new version is a very, very dark blue. And um, I'm not sure if you can pick it up in the light, but one's really dark. One is more of a bottle blue. Let's see if I can get a better picture of it. Anyway, it's hard to see on on film, but believe me when I say it, it, there are two completely different colors. And then also there's a, another variance. You see the light at the front there? There's a white part to the light before the signal there. It's painted white. And in the old version and in both of them, there's no white part, you see there? It's just the signal. So those are the two significant variances that I found um, between the two vehicles. But really the color is completely different. Unfortunately, I can't pick it up on film. You kind of sort of see it there. One's a bottle blue, the one on top is a very, very dark blue. Yeah, you definitely see the difference in color there. And then you, you see the signal as well. There's a white part there right before the signal and on that particular nine pack, as well as the version there, the signal doesn't have the white paint or the white light is not filled in there. For those that like variations, I think that's a cool one to collect. It makes it different. Certainly the blues are very, very different. So in my eyes, at least, that's definitely a fantastic addition to the police interceptor line. And then we have a Honda Civic, which we've seen several times now. Um, and I'm not going to spend too much time on it just because we have seen it. We've got it in several colors. We've got it in black and blue. I think it's a beautifully designed vehicle, very collectible. It's sort of a, I'm gonna say it's a light gray interior. It's a 2017 Honda Civic. And I thought I pulled it one out, but I oh, there, there it is in black in that particular five pack there. Black with a dark gray interior. And then it's also in blue. I thought I pulled one, but I guess I didn't. Um, all right, next we're gonna look at the exclusive vehicle, which is one of my favorite castings. It's a very, very old casting that Matchbox keeps redoing, and, uh, and I love it. I think it's uh, really, really well done. They typically don't have an interior because they do have that removable top. And as we know, the uh, there's always a variance. Whenever you see this vehicle, the, the two tops are different. So there's two versions of the top. I only bought one of them because um, there's been significant inflation in the Matchbox world and these... Uh, Nine packs went from being around $6 to, uh, I think they're around $11 now or $12. So um, it's probably not worth for me to buy two of them anymore. Uh, but I definitely will uh, look out for the second version of this particular vehicle at the various charity stores. And hopefully I'll be able to pick one up for a buck. So there's the vehicle. Look at that. It is just fantastic. Red Valley Camp Troop 1184 front is detailed which makes a world of a difference with this particular vehicle especially because there's no interior there's the side and the back hasn't been done but uh, that's fine it's very nice just to show you guys the back of this particular vehicle 1965 land rover beautiful and I do have both versions of, I'm just going to put all the versions of this vehicle that I have. I do have quite a few of them now. Oops. Okay, so I'm just going to let it rotate once. Look what a difference it makes when the back is detailed. So we have three with detailed backs and two or three of them without. And then more significantly, look how great they look when the front is detailed. Look at that. The white one and the beige one are not detailed. 
and you can see the two different types of roof racks there. They're quite obvious. Beautiful. This is one of my favorite castings. I'm glad that they put it in a nine pack. I would rather have seen it in a single just because it would be cheaper for me to collect them. Uh, but anyways, great job. Uh, they're all great. Uh, and what a fantastic casting. Okay, so one last vehicle to look at. And it's the first version of this vehicle that I have opened. Just get the name for it. So it's a 1966 Dodge A100 pickup. And just let it rotate. In a golf livery, so it's blue and orange. So I should say baby blue and orange. Back is not detailed. Nothing in the, uh, in the back of it. And then we've also seen it in this five pack. I'm just gonna zoom out so that we can have a better view of it. And that five pack is from, there's the back of it. It's got a Renick vehicle. 2020, so it's a few years old, a couple of years old. I'm just gonna put them side by side to see if I see any variances. They look identical in terms of color, wheels, bumpers. Yeah, front's not done in either. And there's nothing in the back of that one either. It's just uh, empty as well. But I have to say, I, I don't own it, but I know that there was a casting difference. So there is a golf version of this particular vehicle that also has a side window. So Matchbox physically changed the casting and uh, you see this metallic window right there uh, that used to be a clear see-through window. So that was a casting change that they make and I'm definitely looking out for this, that particular Dodge vehicle, but I haven't been able to find it yet. And it's in exactly the same golf livery. And um, you know what, I thought I'd do something different today and I've been collecting golf vehicles for a while and I thought I'd just show you guys all the different golf vehicles that I have uh, collected and I collect them across different manufacturers. Uh, I'm just gonna set them up real quick here so you guys can see them. All right, so just to show you some of the different golf vehicles that we have. So those are two uh, Hot Wheels Mustang. And they're from the premium line. They're, you know, rubber wheels. It's got all the bells and whistles, metallic back. Just a really, really nice vehicle. I've got three of them. Um, I got them off of Facebook Marketplace from a collector that was selling part of his collection. That's a golf truck of some sort that I just picked up in the transporter line. Once again, this is a Hot Wheel product. It's called Fleet Flyer. It's from 2022, as you can see with the R16. It's a 2017 Mattel license. And then there's a bunch of, what is this? This is, it there. So this is a 1967 Ford GT MKIV and we've got it in blue as well as white. I think they're fabulous cars. It's probably my favorite casting of these golf vehicles. And then we have another Ford GT This is a Ford GT40, and I have the Super Treasure Hunt version of this as well. It's my problem, I'm just gonna show you this one real quick. I've got all these displays, so that's why they're in these plastic boxes. So this is, uh, I spent about 50, I think it was about 54 US dollars on this. You can see it's the Treasure Hunt version. Carded this vehicle goes for well over 100 US. I found this on eBay from a guy that was selling it in the US and I purchased it. It is just fantastic. Look at that. Look at the detailing. 
it does have a bit of an error on this side the 8 does have a bit of a scratch on it but never mind I for $54 I thought it was a good investment so fully almost fully detailed the back's not detailed but just a fantastic vehicle and then uh, the top one there is a uh, what is that that is a Nineteen seventy Chevrolet. I found this at a charity store. Uh, kid has put a sticker on it. Eighty nine. I thought it was cute, so I kept it on there. Uh, it's definitely a played with version, but uh, you know, picked it up for a dollar, so can't complain. I am looking to replace it with a cleaner version, but it's good enough for now. Next, we've got a nineteen sixty seven Oldsmobile in a golf livery with the number six on the side. Look at that, beautiful. So those are all Hot Wheels. We have one more, this is a Mustang as well. Hot Wheels Mustang. I have to say Matchbox doesn't do too many of the golf livery vehicles. Um, I've got two in my collection. I'll show you the second one in a sec. Sorry guys, I can't get the light to focus in there. There you go. And I'm um, just gonna go through the uh, Hot Wheels versions real quick. So this is probably one of my favorite castings as well from one of my favorite Hot Wheels castings. It's a Porsche Outlaw. Uh, there's also a Super Treasure Hunt uh, in exactly the same color as the Super Treasure Hunt I already showed you guys which I am still trying to get. They're quite expensive. I wanna get an open version so that I can display it. It's exactly the same color as that. So I've been looking for it real hard, but uh, trying to get it at a decent price is not easy. It's a very, very nice vehicle. Unfortunately, the front is not detailed on that. And then finally, another, sorry, Ford GT, I think it is, yeah, Ford GT. LM. So for some reason, Hot Wheels has a lot of Ford GTs in this golf livery. And this one also is a played with version, which I got at the charge store. You can see the little chips at the front. Which I'm also looking to replace with a good clean version. And then I also have three vehicles that are, so there's that one, which is a Nissan Skyline in a golf livery. I can't remember if this is a Mini GT. No, this is a green line vehicle, green light, sorry. So these are a little bit more expensive. They're about $9 Canadian, uh, but you know, it typically has a moving part. I think the uh, hood on this opens. I think it does, you can see the gap there. Um, and the quality is, is uh, quite high. It's got rubber tires, a metal base. It's got all the bells and whistles. And generally they are fully detailed. Look at that. Love this casting. It looks really, really good. And then that's another Mini GT. It is a Cougar. I think it's a Mercury Cougar. 1967 Mercury Cougar. Metal back, rubber wheels, opening bonnet, and look at the detail on the bonnet. Really, really fancy. Yeah, just, just amazing. Green light does some fantastic vehicles. And this, this is another green light vehicle. This particular one I don't think has a moving part, but the top might be removable. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure it is. Look at the detailing. Not a huge fan of these tires. They seem quite thin, but it works on this particular vehicle. Spare tire, all the bells and whistles. Oops. Look at that. Look at the detailing at the back. Metal base again. Beautiful. Really, really well done. 
So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought I'd do something different by showing the uh, golf theme just because I haven't shown you my golf vehicles. And sorry, there's one other hot, matchbox golf vehicle. It is that Volkswagen 4x4. I uh, don't have an open version of it, but it has appeared in several nine packs. Uh, so it's quite easy to find. Um, Anyways, that's it guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already uh, subscribed to my channel, please do so. If you uh, enjoyed this video, please do like it on YouTube. Have a fantastic week and I will be creating quite a few more videos in the upcoming days and weeks.